Daf Nun Zayin Amid Beis, two lines from the top of the two dots. Rabbi Yudai Mer Shol Tzemer Veshel Seir Ein Chaitz Des Mei Mipnei Shamayim Boim Behem. Rabbi Yudai says that the the straps that she has, that she braids her hair with, or ties her hair with, if it's made out of wool or say her hair, that it's not tied so tightly, and it's not a chatzitza. The water can come in between them. It does not block the water, and she does not have to remove them before she's tied. Well, in Mela, she can go out with them on Shabbos because she doesn't have to loosen them or remove them. Amr Rav Yosef, Amr Rav Yehuda, Amr Shmuel, Halacha of Rav Yehuda bechutei seyar. He said the halacha is like Rav Yehuda bechutei seyar that it's not a chatzitza, it does not interpose, and therefore it's mutter to go out with them. Amr Labai, halacha michal upligi. You're saying the halacha is like Rav Yehuda, which implies that the Tanakama would argue with that. Now, where do we see that the Tanakama argues with that? He wasn't discussing seyar. He wasn't discussing hair. Maybe you'll say you love the Shamina, Mitana Kama, the Ayre Bechute Seyar, Iunami Loi Hava Or maybe you'll say he must have heard that the Tanakama was dealing with that case as well, because otherwise, why would he be introducing this? If the Tanakama is not talking about Seyar, why is Rav Yehuda mentioning it? Must be, perhaps you'll say, that that Rav Yehuda must have heard the Tanakama was discussing an Asad Seyar also, and here he's arguing. Mara says, no. Maybe he's, the Tanakam was not talking about Seir. Maybe Rabbi Yehuda is proving to the Tanakama that the Halacha is like him by Tzemer as well. Maybe he's saying Kishem, just like. Just like your Moida to me with Seir, that it's not a Chatzitzah. You should also be Moida to me and agree with me on the chutim that made out of wool. Maybe saying, just like you agree with me on Seyar, though the chutim are not a chatzitza, you should also agree with me on Semer. So therefore, if that's the case, there's no machlaikis by Seyar. Itmar, and the Maishagmar says, we do see this from the next Brisa, that they do not argue by Seyar. Itmar, Am Rav Nachman, Am Shmuel, Maidim Chachamim, Le Rav Yehuda, Bechutei Seyar. It says that they're Maidim, Le Rav Yehuda, Bechutei Seyar. We see it clearly. Tanya, Nama Hachi, Chutei Seyar, Chutei Seyar, Chutei Seyar, Ein Chutei Seyar. The Tanakama says that the Chutim, that the straps are made out of wool, are Chutei Seyar, not Seyar, and Rav Yehuda, Ein Meshel Seyar, Bechutei Seyar, Ein Chutei Seyar. So you see the Machloike is clearly, is only by Seyar, by wool, and not by Sayyar. Omar of Nachmar Yitzchak, Mas Nisan Namidika, it's Meduyak from our Mishnah also that this is the case. Diktani, Yaitse Isha, Bechute Sayyar, Bain Mishalo, Bain Mishal Chaverto. The Mishnah on Dav Samach Dalit says that an Isha can go out with Chute Sayyar, Bain Mishalo, whether hers or someone else's, her friends. So money. Well, why does it only mention Seyar? If it's a going according to Rabbi Yehuda, it should mention wool as well. It must be the man Dalmar of the Mishnah is Rabbonin. And we see clearly that by Chute Seyar, they do not argue Shmamino. You have a conclusive Raya. Seyar, everybody agrees that it's not a Chatzitza. He said it's the what they used to make a bundle and uh, that they used to make for to ward off iron heart. So they used to make knots and make it tied into a cashier as a way so it's something that would ward off to prevent from iron hara. Well, if that's the case, then why should it be also? If that's the case, it should have the same halach as a kameya, as an amulet. And halach is if that if it's done by a muncha, by an expert, then it is motor. So it should be the same thing over here. If it's done, if it's made by someone who is an expert at these things and it's been proven that it works, then it should also be motor. It shouldn't be also. Hello, Amor Rav Yehuda, Mishmeda, Abaya, Upazayni. 
What it means is, Pazani, it was a plate that he wore jewelry on their foreheads, just like the Kohen Goro wore at Sitz. It's a plate that he uh, has had in his forehead. Here also, the woman had jewelry. They had this ornament that they wore on their foreheads. It was attached in the back. And it was an item of jewelry that, just like the other case in the mission, that she might take off and show to her friend and come to carry. This is also in that category. Now we have a right to this because it says in the Brisa that an Isha could go out with a hat that's made out of gold and with the Tophas and Sarvitin that are Kvum that are attached to it. Now normally something that's made out of uh, gold, something that's an ornament, a jewelry that's Choshev, she cannot go out. But she's Yoytzi Shem Besvacha Hamazuhavis with a cap that's made out of gold because she's not going to remove the cap because her hair would be uncovered. And she can also go out with Taitavis Sarvit and Akvoimba. And with Taitavis and, uh, and Sarvit, and we'll see what this means shortly, which are attached to it. Because since they're attached to the cap and she's not going to take out her hat, she's not going to take out off her hat, so these are not going to be removed either. And that's why she can go out with them. So, therefore, we see the raya over here. Taisa says, therefore, you see that this is the raya is because the you would not attach a the kameya or a, the uh, the uh, humrasa the ketivsta rather you would not attach it to a hat. These items attached to a hat must be that they are talking about these ornaments, these uh, items of jewelry that are tied to the hat. Maybe to expand somewhat on what Taisus is saying is that we see in the Brisa that these are ornaments. They're tachshitim. And the, the, uh, the kesher, the chumrata, the ketif that was made for Ein Har is not an uh, item of jewelry. So we're talking about items of jewelry. We're talking about things that are attached to the hat. So therefore, we have a raya that it is the, the plate that she wore on her forehead for jewelry. Now the Gemara defines what this is. What is the difference between the two? Like we said, it's on the forehead, so it's attached from ear to ear. And the sarvitim is, she would wrap a scarf around her head and would come down on her sides, on her cheeks, hang down, there would be these ornaments, these tachitim, that would hang down on her cheeks. Yeah. They used to make it, they, the poor ones, they didn't have the money for gold or silver, silver, so they made it with colored, with made out of cloth that was dyed different colors. Ashiris oisa noisa shall cancel the shells off, and the shiris made it from cancer and shall zohov. Therefore, there's a discussion of the Rishonim. Is there a nafkamina halacha between the fact, the fact that the Gemara is bringing down what the Aniyas do or the Ashiris do, does that make a difference in halacha? Would that say, therefore, that for the Ashiris, the ones that are made out of tzivoinim, for them it would not be choshev and it would not be something that they would take off and show to the friends and perhaps it would be motor. So that is a discussion in the Rishonim. But Laiba Kabul, and she cannot go out with a Kabul, Amar of Yana, Kabul saying a Yadeya Mahu. It's not clear what is this Kabul. Which are there two types of Kabuls? Is it a Kabul of the Avda? Is what we're talking about over here, is it the emblem that the Eved used to wear <coughs> to show that he was an Eved? So he had this emblem and it was clearly marked that now he is an Eved and was, it's known and then he is a servant, an Eved for the master. Is it Kabbalah Davutanan? Ava Kippah Shel Tzemer, but a Kabbalah can also be a Kippah Shel Tzemer, a cap, a cap made out of wool. Perhaps I would say that's Shap Yodami, that that would be Mutter. Now this Kippah Shel Tzemer, the woman would wear it under her hat but it would protrude slightly and it would uh, therefore be an item of, <coughs> of Tachshit as well. So there is a Svar, there is a Mokum to say over here that since it's worn on her head, now even though it's under her hat, but there's a Mokum to say that she's not going to take it off because her hair might become uncovered. 
and therefore there's a mockum to say that it should be mutter. So perhaps what the Mishnah, so one side is, is the Mishnah talking about the Kavla Da'avda? Over there we say it's also, it's also for her to take her, go out with this Kavla Da'avda. But if it would be a woman who is not a Shivcha, if she's not a servant, and to have her keep a Shultzamer would be mutter. Now, even though it has some chashivas, perhaps we'll say she's not going to remove it because she doesn't want her hair to be uncovered. Or he did not keep a Shultzamer. Or perhaps the Mishnah, what it means is keep a Shultzamer. And we are concerned that she will take it off to show her friend because she might come to carry it. And the culture can kavla davda. And then certainly it would be a kavla davda, avda would be also. It's Mistabra to say that it's referring to the Kippa Shultzemer. That that's what we're referring to. And it says clearly in the Brisa that the Isha can go with a Kabul and an Istama, we'll define this shortly, to a Chatzer, only to the Chatzer, but not to the Rosh So you see clearly that it's it's we're saying Yois Isha be Kabbal Yisla Chotzer, not to the Rishon Ben Elazar, but to Kabbal Rishus Rabim. He says even to the Rishus Rabim. Klal on Rishon Ben Elazar, Kol Shul Lamat Min Shavcha, Yois Yitzim Ba, Kol Shul Lamal Min Shavcha, and Yitzim Ba. And the Klal he says it's more to because since it's under her hat. Therefore, you can go out with it because she will not remove it to show it. So now it must be clearly that the Tanakama is saying that it's also, we're talking, we see clearly from Rav Shem ben Elazar, what we're talking about is the Kippah Shultzema. And the Tanakhama says it's also, it's even by Kippah Shultzema, it's also. And that this is the Machlaikas over here. The Tanakhama says she might take it off. Rav Shem ben Elazar says the Klal is that, Rav Shem ben Elazar says the Klal is anything that's under the hat, we're not concerned because she won't remove it because of the concern that her hair might become uncovered. So we see clearly over here that the Kabul that we're talking about is a Kippa Shultzemer and Kol Shekain Kabul Da'avda. Taisus is bothered by the fact that how can we say that what we're talking about is a Kabul Da'avda? How can we say that to begin with, what's the half minute to say that that's what we're talking about? The Isser over here is only in Rishul Sarap, but it's clear it's Kabul Brashus Ram is also, but it's Yaitzi Shiba Kabul Bismal Chasa. She can go out into the Chasa, into the courtyard, she just can't take it out to Rashus Ram, but they were matirid, they were matirid in the Chasa. They were matirid in the Chasa. Now, if you say that it's talking about a Kippishal Sema, like we learned earlier, that we understand why it's also, why it's also in Rashus Rabim. Why were they makal and were matarid in the chotzer? Like Taisa spoke out, like Tisgana Albala, they left her some sort of ornament that she can go out with, at least to the chotzer, so that she should look pleasing to her husband, Shalik Tisgana Albala. So we understand this distinction between the chotzer and the Shusarabim. However, in fact, Taisa, if we're talking about a Kavla the Avda, why should there be any chiluk between a Rishul Sarabim and a Chaser? What's the difference between the two? So Taisa says the reason is that if it's a Kavla Da'avda, we would be mater, the Chomer matered in the Chaser, because it's to, otherwise there would be a strife, there would be a between the master and, and the slave. There'd be a between if the slave is going out in the Chatzar, he's constantly going out without any emblem of Avdos, so he'll start to act chutzpahdik. And the, the emblem over there was to keep the Eved in his place, to show that he is an Eved and to remind him of it. If he would be going out in the Chatzar without it, he would now start to feel like a free person, start to act chutzpahdik, will be a machlokes between him and the Oden. Therefore, they were martyred in the Chatzar as well. But the Maisa, the Gemara's Maskani is, is that what we're talking about is a keeper shall so Kol Shekain HaKavla Shal but then we're talking about a keeper shall Semer in the Mishnah. So it mentions, in this context, it mentions a Kabbal and an Istama. Frek the Gemara, my Istama, what is an Istama? Amar Ovo Bizyani. My Bizyani, what is that? Amar Abay, Amar Av, Kalya Pruche. What we're talking about is, is Kalya Pruche, is that after the woman braids her hair, 
then she puts a she wraps around her her hair her head anything that if there might be any stray hair that are, are hanging down or that are uh, revealed she covers it with this with this with covering over here so that's what she had to make sure that she's com her hair is completely covered there's three halachas that are mentioned by this system um, there's no isra kilaim involved in it there's no isra kilaim with this item now the question is why so rashi says it's not come because it's not woven it's not spun threads and woven threads it's felt and on a felt, it's made out of, that's the way it's made, there's no Isser of Kilaim. Saisa says that the reason is, is because it's a hard item, it's made out of a hard substance, which doesn't give any warmth, so there's no Isser of Kilaim. Vein metambi negoim, and for the same reason, it's not mekambal tumas negoim. Tumas negoim on, if there's a nega on a fabric, this is not considered a fabric that is susceptible to tumas negoim. Vein yaitzim bahem baalar shusarap. And you cannot go out with it in Rishul Sarabi. Shem Rishim and Amro, Afein Ba Mishum Ataras Kalais. And he says, there's also the Issa of Ataras Kalais when they're geyser, that after the Khorban Yushalayim, so Zechel Khorban, they were geyser, and they should, on items of, of ornaments, and you should not go with items of ornaments. This is not included in that category. This is not considered something that was of touch of that nature that they were geyser on because of the Corbin account of the Corbin.